And the Debrink Channel is back, and today we are talking about Lake Mead. We will be talking about what would happen to the Hoover Dam if it was hit by a mega quake. We're exploring the world of science and technology, and in this episode we're going to talk about what would happen to the Hoover Dam if it was hit by a mega quake. The Hoover Dam is located on the Colorado River between Arizona and Nevada. It is one of the largest and most iconic dams in the world, and me and the wife were there back in October, and here's some video of that, and it's just a beautiful place. Completely Completed in 1936, the dam is over 700 feet tall and over 1,200 feet long, and it is a long walk. I have walked it. And it holds back the water of Lake Mead, one of the largest man-made lakes in the world. But what would happen if the Hoover Dam was hit by a mega quake, such as the one that have occurred in California in the past? To understand what would happen, we need to first understand the basics of earthquakes. Earthquakes are caused by movements of tectonic plates, which are a large piece of the Earth's crust that moves slowly over time. When the two plates rub against each other, they create friction, which can cause the plates to become stuck. When the plates finally break free, they create a seismic wave, which can cause the ground to shake. Megaquakes, also known as great earthquakes, are particularly powerful earthquakes to have magnitude of 8.0 or greater. These types of quakes are rare, but can cause catastrophic damage, particularly if they occur near populated areas or infrastructures. So what would happen if a mega quake were to hit the Hoover Dam? According to experts, the answer is not entirely clear. The dam was designed to withstand earthquakes up to a magnitude 8.0, which means it should be able to withstand a mega quake. However, there are a number of factors that can make this situation more complicated. One of the biggest concerns is the location of the Hoover Dam. The dam is located near an intersections of several major fault lines, including the San Andreas Fault, which is one of the most active and well-known fault lines in the world. If a mega quake were to occur on one of those fault lines, the ground beneath the dam could shift significantly, which would cause the dam to become unstable. Another concern is the nature of the ground around the dam. The dam was built on a solid rock foundation, which it is designed to provide stability and support. However, the ground in the dam is composed of softer soil and sediment which could be prone to liquefaction during the earthquake. Liquefaction occurs when the soil becomes saturated with water which causes it to lose strength and become more likely to be a liquid. If this were to happen around the Hoover Dam it could cause the dam to sink or shift which could lead to catastrophic failure. Finally there is issues of the water itself. The Hoover Dam holds back a tremendous amount of water. Even with the lake being at 28% full, it holds back a ton of water. That's a lot of water in the lake. And if the dam were to fail, this water could be released all at once. This could have significant flooding downstream, which could impact communities and infrastructure for miles. Despite these concerns, it's important to remember that the Hoover Dam was designed to withstand an earthquake and other natural disasters. This dam is equipped with the number of safety features including spillways and gates that can be open to release water in the event of an emergency. Additionally, the dam is monitored around the clock by a team of engineers and geologists who are trained to detect any sign of instability or damage. One of the biggest concerns in the event of a mega quake is the potential of the damage to become unstable. The damage is massive structure weight is over 6.6 .6 million tons. Another concern is the impact the mega quake could have on power generation capabilities of the Hoover Dam. The dam is equipped with 17 hydroelectric generators which are responsible for producing electricity for millions of people in the southwest. United States, if the dam were to become damaged in the mega quake, it could potentially take months or even years to repair the generators and restore the power to the region. Lake Mojave and Lake Havasu are two reservoirs that are located downstream of the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River. In the event of a mega quake causing the dam to fail, these two lakes would be directly impacted. The impact on Lake Mojave and Lake Havasu would be sudden and significant increases in water level as the water level is released from the Hoover Dam 
it would flow downstream and fill up the two lakes, potentially causing them to overflow. The incredible water levels in the lakes could significantly flood in surrounding areas, potentially along the shores of the lake. This could damage homes, businesses, infrastructure, and potentially displace residents in affected areas. In addition to the flooding, the sudden increase in water levels could also have significant impact to local ecosystems. The change in water level could cause changes in water temperature, oxygen level, and nutrient levels, which could potentially harm fish and other aquatic lives in the lake. The flooding and potential ecological impact could also have economic consequences for the region. Tourism is a significant industry in the area, and any disruption of recreational activity on the lake could lead to a loss of revenues for local businesses and communities. Overall, the impact of the mega quake causing the Hoover Dam to fail would be significant for Lake Mojave and Lake Kavasu, as well as the surrounding communities and ecosystems. It's important to continue monitoring the dam and taking steps to prevent such an event from occurring in order to protect the safety as well. So, if the Hoover Dam was destroyed, would the Davis Dam be destroyed? That would be a question you may have. The Davis Dam is located downstream of the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River and serves the secondary source of hydroelectric power and water storage on the region. In the event of a mega quake causing the Hoover Dam to fail, it's possible the Davis Dam could also be impacted. However, it's important to note that the Davis Dam is designed and constructed differently than the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is a massive concrete arch gravity dam, while the Davis Dam is a concrete multiple arch gravity dam. This means that the two dams are designed to withstand different types of magnitudes and forces. According to the United States Bureau of Reclamation, which manages both the Hoover Dam and Davis Dam, the Davis Dam is designed to withstand earthquakes of a magnitude similar to or greater than the largest earthquake recorded in the region. Additionally, the Bureau of Reclamation conducts regular inspection and maintenance on the dam to ensure that it remains structurally sound and capable of performing its intended functions. While it's possible that the mega quake could cause damage to the Davis Dam, it's unlikely that the dam would be completely destroyed in the event of a catastrophic failure of the Hoover Dam. The Davis Dam would be able to provide some level of hydroelectric power and water storage for the region, although it may not be able to fully replace the functions of the Hoover Dam. Overall, the Davis Dam could potentially be impacted by the mega quake causing the Hoover Dam to fail. It's designed to withstand significant seismic forces and regularly inspect and maintained to ensure the structural integrity. Would the Parker Dam fail if it was to be hit by the same mega quake? The Parker Dam is located downstream of the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River downstream of both the Davis Dam and the Hoover Dam. While the Parker Dam is designed to withstand significant seismic forces, it's possible that mega quake causing the Hoover Dam to fail could have a secondary impact on the Parker Dam. If the Hoover Dam were to fail, it would likely be a sudden significant increase in water levels downstream which could potentially impact the Parker Dam. The increased water flow could potentially cause erosion on the other dams to ensure the dam structure leading to potential failure. However, it's important to note that the Parker Dam is designed to withstand significant forces and has different structures and designs than the Hoover Dam and I was there not so long ago as here's some video of that. The Parker Dam is a concrete arch gravity dam similar to the Hoover Dam but it's significant smaller in size and capacity. Additionally, the Parker Dam is significant upgrades and renovations in recent years to improve the safety and resilience. The United States Bureau of Reclamation, which manages the dams, conduct regular inspections and maintain to ensure the dams remain structurally sounded and capable of performing its intended functions. Overall, while the Parker Dam could potentially be impacted by a mega quake, the Hoover Dam to fail, it's designed to withstand significant forces and has undergone recent upgrades and renovations and improvements, safety, resilience. However, it's important to continue to monitor the dam and take steps to prevent any potential failure. And you may be asking yourself, well, that's great and all, but what happens up at Lake Powell? Would Lake Powell be affected by this? Lake Powell is upstream from the Hoover Dam on the Colorado 
Colorado River as such, it may not be directly impacted by a mega quake that caused the dam to fail. However, it's important to note the event of any potential impacts on Lake Powell would depend on the significant circumstances of the quake and resulting failure of the dam. If the mega quake were severe enough to cause the Hoover Dam to fail, it's possible that there could be significant impacts to the infrastructure and communities along the Colorado River. Additionally, the Hoover Dam and other dams on the Colorado River are all a part of a large system of water management and distribution in the area. If the Hoover Dam were to fail, this could potentially impact the overall management of water resources in the region, which could indirectly impact Lake Powell and other areas upstream. Overall, while a catastrophic failure of the Hoover Dam would not directly impact Lake Powell in terms of a sudden and significant increase in water levels downstream, it could potentially have indirect impact on the ability and quality of water resources in the region. As long as the Glen Cannon Dam wasn't destroyed, Lake Powell would be just fine. And that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one. God bless.